I do agree. I also wouldn't host something where I'm expecting people to pay. Mm. But what happens when you want to celebrate your birthday with loved ones and you don't have the money to do it? Don't, don't do it, Ursula. Oh. Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another episode of the Conversation Capital. Our subscriber pool ship keeps growing. I don't know what the word is, but you guys keep growing and growing and growing. Thank you so much to everybody that keeps sharing, that keeps liking, that keeps commenting and engaging with us. The TCC family is growing and we love you guys so much. The voice of reason behind the microphone today is a given. Hello, given. hello. How are you doing? I'm good, and you? I am good, thank you very much awesome. for asking. Bonga, you need to come back, yeah? Given I love and respect you, but Bonga, come back. And then our guest for today is a good friend of mine. In fact, I used to work with her as a co-host before, back in the day of uh, Breakfast with Ursh. Masiko. Hey. How are you doing, girl? I'm doing great in yourself. I'm awesome, thank you. So we're chatting all things to do with, you know, financial education, especially in the spaces of being a media person who works, or not necessarily only a media person, but somebody who works gig to gig. So gig economy, what it looks like to receive lump sums of money as opposed to a salary, right? Yeah. And 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 then the different forms and shapes that can take trying to be responsible with it without, you know, because all of us on payday, can 25? Ish. I can't eat at home. Like a, like, Ish. The house or twin, Ish. I'd rather die. <laughs> I have to go out yeah. and spare. <laughs> Ocean basket, something, something, you know, that says I got paid today, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I can imagine now when it's like three months worth of salary mm. that comes in. Mm. Jeez, Ocean Basket isn't enough anymore. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. And sleeping at home. Yeah. Let alone going hey, out. Yeah. You know, and, and what that looks like. And so it's January. We wanna, you know, just step into that space of the people that are looking high and dry now because Christmas also comes with all of that. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it becomes a oh it's Christmas time. I need to spend money. I need to dote on my family and mm. love them and buy a, a gift here, a gift there. Before you know it, January is looking rather dry and stiff. Exactly. You know? And and so yeah, that's what we're talking about. And and you know, segueing into that, Masako, I know that you, you know, studied um uh, a media. Yes. And you're in the media space now, and yes. you know, being somebody who lives strictly gig to gig uh, type of economy, or you know, do they teach you guys anything at school on money and how to budget? Mm. Well, there is um, uh, not a course, but a module now. Mm. Um, it's finances, but then, unfortunately for me, I did not receive that, and this is like me graduating and whatever. So I graduated without that module being part of my entire course. Mm. So what I have received rather is that there's a chapter in one of my modules where I learned a glimpse of finances, but it's not detailed to an extent that I could actually sit down with a banker and be like, no, as I get gigs and I get paid like this, this is how I'm going to go accordingly or with mm. my money and stuff like that. Mm. It's not as in depth as one could actually want to go and find a financial advisor regarding mm. me getting gigs and get things drafted down and be like, mm. no, this is how much you could spend or don't spend on such an mm. amount. Since then. Yeah. And so do, do you think that lack of financial knowledge has led you to a place right now, just where you're at? I know you're at the beginning of your career, you're yeah. a young lady. But do you think right now, as it stands, you're definitely Team Night Enjoyment? Or definitely did you pick up something? Yeah. No, me, Team Night Enjoyment. <laughs> first thing I get, notification. I'll be like, okay, the first trend, trend. Let me see what I can do. Maybe go to, because I go to Boston Middle House in Santon. So there's Nelson Mandela Square. So I just mm, walk in, go mm, to a restaurant, mm, get a young mm, mm, meal, <laughs> oxtail. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, I'm something. You like yes, oxy oxy. Yes. <laughs> so, but then uh, one thing that I learned was that regardless of, you being new and you not having the financial um, education or knowledge about it, you have to teach yourself without even mm. like relying on people to, te to mm. teach you because situations can actually lead you to have to know how to be financially wise. Mm. Understand? Because I've went through like situations that forced me to not be like, okay, the first trend, the trend, oxtail. Mm. There were months where I was like, uh, okay. No, 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 mm. no, 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 no. You happy you need yeah. to focus on certain things mm. for you to actually have this money serve you longer. Ish. Mm. Mm. I'm actually taken aback to when I was doing my marketing course. Yeah. And now I'm working at a company 
and I remember my boss asking me to do a marketing plan for some, I'll call it a product that mm. we wanted to launch. And I had no freaking idea how to do a marketing plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that's the thing about, as you're talking now about learning it at school, I think school struggles or cannot teach you how mm. to do it in, in reality. practice. Mm. Like in reality. Mm -hmm. Like at school they'll teach you this mm. marketing plan. In fact, I don't even remember us studying an actual marketing plan, mm -hmm. let alone doing it in practice. Yes, yes. Right? Uh, but what they'll usually do is, is teach it to you theoretically, like you'll do the bullet points and you'll memorize them. But in practice, mm. when because this company doing a marketing plan means absolutely different to this company doing a marketing plan. Mm -hmm. So they're going to look very different. Yes. And I imagine the approach on managing your finances mm -hmm. at school had nothing to do with managing them in practice. Yes. Yeah, I, so, I, as, as you're speaking, that you, yeah, that you take in uh, the, the lessons that you take in from people rather, like from an uncle that tells you exactly. how to spend your money exactly. versus what you would learn. To be honest, I've, I've never been formally schooled on how to spend your money. How to spend money, and that's I think I. I mean, I remember I follow a rule of thumb that I saw of Twitter: twenty percent on your accommodation, twenty percent on saving. I, I, I forgot, I've got mm, it, but then yeah. it, basically that, that's that been my rule of thumb. Mm, <laughs> so mm. Tweet of 140 characters. I don't even know that person's <laughs> background, what what informed that decision, you know. Mm. And and things like, you know, different books, there's The Richest Man in Babylon, things like that. Yes, mm. uh, yes. You know, self-education tools that you use, or like I said, an uncle who, you know, is wiser than most with money. But that's that's specifically, you know, the chat is, and I know we're talking about artists specifically and people in media and gig economy, but I'd also like to speak to black people, mm. the black mm. economy as a whole, yeah. you know, I feel like financial lessons, uh, it's a difficult one because I, I, I do know that definitely, like I have an uncle that will share with you how to say, spend your money, but just generally isn't something that's been instilled in most communities, in most families yes. from the get, like from a family grassroots level, on how to, I, you know, Caucasian communities have piggy banks. Mm. Do you do you get where, where yeah, you know it. where where they yeah. taught a kid is taught yeah. to save money, to have a goal, mm. to you know aspire to you know, which I think is something that isn't instilled, and that's why episodes of I Blew It is us people that look like us. I don't oh know, my goodness, they, I never thought people, of that. Yeah. I never thought blood. of that. But I sometimes, like, with what you're saying, I beg to differ a little bit. Okay. Because look at how, like, for example, maybe you're doing, like, grade one, two, three, you'd be given five rand. Mm. And they'll tell you to spend three rand and save two rand every day. Who? You Your parents. Talking? I yeah? mean, I'm In a, a black community. You never told me that. Uh, <laughs> me, me. I, honestly, my parents, my mom did. Like, she'd be like, okay, you can have five rand today, right? Mm. Then spend three rand, save two rand. No, right. your mom was doing a good job. Nah. Yeah. And then, obviously, as the week goes, every day I save two rand. At the end of the week, how much do I have? I have 10 rand. Mm. And then, at the end of the month, I'll have a certain amount. Ganjalo, ganjalo. But then now it differs when, now you're a kid, you're spending, you're saving money to buy sweets and whatever, whatever. Mm. Now, as a masejo being in the entertainment industry, well, in media, and going gig to gig, where I get different amounts of money mm. depending on the gig that i do mm. and the priorities at that time mm. it differs with how i spend the money for example i go to a gig today maybe i host at a club for example i'm given 30k mm. do you think the 30k that i spent today will be how i spend the 15k i'll get next month it won't be the same mm, because, so the yeah. literacy is needed in the situation that you faced at that moment do you get me? Or the amount of money that, that you, you have. At that. But yeah, I hear what you're saying. So you're saying that even though there's different amounts of money coming in, the literacy would come in into knowing how to s still use the same rule of thumb mm. for each type of... Do you understand? Lump sum get. Yes. So basically having the same set of rules. But I, I get exactly what you're saying. If I get 20,000 rand this month, um, how I spend it, because I know that it's only 20,000 rand, mm. maybe perspective here, let me not say only, but it, knowing that, you know, it's, it's, it's not much... Ooh, perspective here. Yeah, it is not. Yeah, much. yeah, it's not yeah, much. Right? It's not like it's not it much. depends, though. You can mm. say twenty thousand rands is much to someone who does not earn. Let's yes. say someone who earns five thousand. Yes. Right? yes. And we can say twenty thousand mm. is not much to someone who earns fifty or hundred k. Yes. Right? yes. However, in the real economy, twenty thousand 
is, is not 20,000 yes. mm. and it's not that much yes okay okay yeah. so it's not that much and and then i you know i learn how to somehow we learn how to make it stretch and whatever versus the next month when i learn when i've gotten 50 knowing that i survived over 20, 20. Mm. all of a sudden i love that i know how to <laughs> that's why i'm saying it depends on the situation mm. that time mm. and being a gig to gig person mm. literacy is very much needed because uh hence the example of getting 30 and getting 50 mm. the, how the regardless of the amount of money i get mm. you will differently mm. i won't when i get 5000 let's define pupul pupul ish pupul is eating yeah. <laughs> it's a nice thing i'm joking pupul depends how you see with my situation i don't have a child i don't have too much responsibilities or a lot do you understand? So mm. my purpose would be materialistic purpose in terms of like mm. buying things that I'd look good in the next gig or whatever, whatever, whatever to better mm. myself. Mm. And then purpose to another person would be buying a car or investing or saving up to get whatever that they'd want. No, that saving up is not purpose. It's not purpose. Saving is not purpose. No, saving is not purpose. Purpose is purpose. Easy pizza. It was sexy. And purpose. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also... Um, like we're saying, we're speaking specifically to people that uh, gig to gig economy. Mm. But what happens, like in the in betweens, like people that earn monthly, but because mm. of black communities, I don't know how to say what I'm saying. How, yeah, how do we infiltrate this like mm-hmm. um, gap? Yeah, how do we infiltrate this gap of knowledge? Um, you see, COVID played a huge role in um, the gap that you're speaking about. For example, I started. I, I was no, but guys, I blew it was there before COVID. No, Thank but you. It, was, it was. But look at how I uh, I blew it now and then. Now it's more even intentional, and it's a thing of you put it for real, and it's gone for real. Then there was like you still had a chance of knowing that no Monday is tomorrow. Then mm. COVID happened, and you were stuck. Then you believed that there's no oh, tomorrow. So you're, oh, that's saying, what you're saying you're saying that because people live now more for now yes. than they did before. Then before. Then before COVID. So I went with COVID now. Is that true guys? Look like that's, statistics. I don't know. I think I think it, it depends on where you're looking at. Because mm-hmm. I do I do agree with her in that there are people with that mentality of I'm I I, I receive this money and tomorrow doesn't matter. Like, I need to find places where to blow this money. Which, at the same time, I feel like that's the running thread in Mm. I Blew It. Mm. Right? It's people who are always looking for excuses to spend money. Mm. Mm. Okay, question. Do you think that people that I Blew It 2019 blew it as much as people are blowing it now in 2022? I don't know, honestly. If I'm honest with you, personally, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I also feel like the numbers aren't there. Um, I actually don't even know if people's behavior is more erratic because that would mean erratic. Is that the word? Yeah. More spontaneous, more pur, 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 pur. sporadic. Yeah, maybe it's pur, 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 pur is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> you guys will comment in the comment section what the word. Yeah. Is. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't even know if people's behavior is more that because of the risk that we all thought you know the world could be ending, and now maybe there's a desire to live more spontaneously. All I know is that black communities have had an issue way before COVID. Mm. They still have an issue now, um, and and it's it's just that it's the it's the whole thing of you know the lack. Mm. of you know formalized where like, would you say you learn the culture of bubbling i learned it from not having the lack of not oh. having stuff okay so me my my bubbling it's not because of um i'm bubbling onto things that i know and have experience on i'd rather bubble ah. and go to things i don't have experience on so the experience i get from bubbling i will come back and tell a story that i once received something and I bubbled it on something that I treasured or valued at that pres- at that moment, but never had an experience of before. Do you get me? You know what you're saying, so multi-layered, because maybe then that points towards the whole, com- like the whole system. Then is that obviously you're not going to spend on what you know. Spend on what you know. Yeah. Kimanga uh-uh, tlomata lang ocean basket. Ah ah, na ocean basket is yeah. nothing, sweetie. Yeah. I know. Gucci. Keep saying ocean. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> they run yeah. to Gucci. 
they run to luxurious stuff or when you're just used to money generally it mm. doesn't excite mm. you necessarily yes. as you know you think long term unlike when the money was never there mm. you know you're coming from a place of like you've always admired and desired mm. certain things for yourself and you're like actually I want to know what it feels like to swipe 15k yeah. on you know what I mean mm. yeah. the lack sometimes the lack. is actually what yeah. can get you yeah. to a place oh. but there's a feeling that comes with blowing money mm. like it's so nice no, like just sitting with your friends and saying I'll cover this round I, 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 no not that one <laughs> are you not that type no i mean i love spending amongst friends I'm i'd rather guy. spend on guy. contribution Firstly, i think that's a very guy thing mm. i you suppose know that. i yeah. suppose yeah but but i get you i get you friend it's on me is nice yes yeah it feels good and it depends on the type of friends you have mm. if it's gonna happen again to you where your friend is gonna say the rounds are on me on, oh yes then that's different I understand, yeah. so as me as a lady as well i would never say ah oh, girls everything is on no <laughs> I actually remember once a friend of mine had his birthday and it was the concept was very new to me and I don't know if it's a thing mm-hmm. which it, which is it's making me think of you saying it's a guy thing a friend of mine had his birthday then he invited some friends of ours from back home where we come from in Pumalanga mm-hmm. and then when we came here we just went um, clubbing basically mm-hmm. so we went as we're going clubbing they did this thing and we didn't discuss it that's the thing that sort of make confused me we didn't sit and say guys we're gonna go into these clubs and this is how we're gonna do it right mm-hmm. it just everyone had this mutual understanding that okay this round i'm going to take it people just stood up mm-hmm. bought around and came, came back, back with it yeah. next person went yeah. and next yeah. person went and yeah. next person went like there was just no mutual nah, really five, if i'm number five you get on my yeah, yeah i've had enough did you know <laughs> also there's this game where now it's a new thing now where you put your card on the table when the wait the waitress or the waiter comes mm. and picks a card and whichever card they pick they pay yes, with yes, it. Yes, 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 I've yes, never played that game. Mm. I've never played the game regardless of no. It is a thing. Yeah, yeah. That's I saw a few trends in reels rather than trends, but oh. reels. I saw a few reels where people I think it's called credit card roulette. No, oh I'm, yes. Oh. So I'd rather you, evaporate. you put your card in. Now I would put the card in that I know it will be insufficient. I've seen it in a movie. I've seen it in a movie with people who have money. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I've seen it in a film with people who have money. I don't know if you'd want to share this. Mm-hmm. Highest bill you've ever received? My highest bill, restaurant or like restaurant vibes and everything like yes. that. Yes. Was six point two, and that's include inclusive of bottles and stuff. How many people? Four. 6.2 yes girl you know how to blow money earth what type of bill <laughs> a restaurant <laughs> restaurant vibes <laughs> definitely n- nothing near that here. yeah and with me it went with the invitation i extended the invitation so i can't extend an invitation to you and expect you to pay everything pay. for yourself yeah so it was a matter of the thing of i extended the invitation and it was my celebration mm. so with me celebrating difficult one that's where i was like no i won't make splits and everything i'll just cover the entire bowl and then i'll deal with the after effect by myself in my bedroom <laughs> crying <laughs> guys this is a very difficult one yeah yeah it is a difficult one sorry sorry bro uh because i do agree i also wouldn't host something where i'm expecting people to pay mm. but what happens when you want to celebrate your birthday with loved ones and you don't have the money to do it? Then don't do it, Ursula. Oh. Here's my, my rule of thumb. Ne? There, there's always something you can cover or, or rather do it when there is something you can cover. Mm. In other words, allevi- alleviate the costs. I am also, I'm not one to say I'll pay for everything. Mm. But while I will, what I will try to do is cover, let's say if we're having a braai, I'll cover the meat. The most expensive. Yeah, I'll cover the meat and everybody else can sort their drinks out. Mm. If you'd like to come with a salad or whatever, mm. but yeah. I'll cover the most, the basic thing that we need in order to have the fun, mm. right? Mm. Um, so even if I remember a friend of mine once invited us to go to, what's this Lions, Lions place? Lions Park, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah, and then we, she, it was her birthday. So what she decided to do, instead of paying us the entrance, it's like what, at the time it was 200 bucks, Mm. For, per person we all paid for our entrance but we we ate food she had brought we bride meat she brought mm. okay you know yeah so always figure out what's your damage <laughs> no 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 there's a bri area <laughs> <laughs> it's a relevant question. i've never been to lion park guys <laughs> <laughs> okay 
<laughs> Are you not embarrassed? It's a relevant question though. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Hey, 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 I'm the host here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a joke, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I hear you. I think paying the way. Like, for me, I've always avoided. If I don't have money to do it, then I don't do it. To be honest, mm. but I've always never taken offense when somebody invites me to, unless they they want to have something flashy at my expense and not just celebrate their life, but like extravagantly. So at my mm. that's when I'm, I take offense to it. Mm. But I do understand helping out with a celebration. Otherwise. Generally, will we ever have the celebrations then? Mm. If everybody feels the need to pay for the meat, the alcohol, the dombolo, the chakalaka, da, da, da. we're a community where, you know, I, I do believe that my friend also would like to, you know, yesterday I went with a, a bowl of chakalaka and there was load shedding at my place. Yeah. And I had to hustle a place to go cook it because I didn't want to go with a canned one because it was an honor for me for them to say come with chakalaka. Mm. And I took that honor seriously and I wanted mm. to bring the best chakalaka, you know what I mean? Mm. And so there mm. is a, a part of like, that it's a it's an act of service that I actually also want to yes. give. Yeah. You know, in yeah. like coming with a, a, a drink for us to share or coming with, you know, a salad or something. I you think know? also it depends on the event. Mm -hmm. It depends on an event. If it's your birthday, mm. it's different than a, a housewarming. Mm. It's different than a, a, a Christmas as Machita vibes. Because there you expected to bring something. Mm. But then uh, as for your birthday, the only thing that you would expect is the gift. But not expect a person to carry a whole dumbbell. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> to your party. There's no way. There's no way. So it depends with occasion. It okay. really depends with occasion. <laughs> so, but you mentioned the dumbbell. <laughs> Okay, okay. Similar question to what Give asked. We were talking mm -hmm. about um, highest bill paid. Yes. Um, I want to know if you got six million right now. Yeah. Mm. What would Queen the last one to answer? Yeah. How would you spend it? I'm very boring. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I know that I have a tendency to give myself time in order to figure out what I need and what's my the most effective thing I can spend on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I definitely would have a six million is a lot of money. There we're not talking about 20,000. Mm. That yes. actually is a lot of money. Yes. Uh, even if you look at it from the perspective of rands. So that's enough money to pay off my bond. That's mm. enough money to change my car. I mean, it's mm. already pay off, so I'm definitely changing my car. Uh, that's enough money to pay my kids um, uh, fees in advance mm. before she even needs mm. school. Mm. So I'll definitely open up some kind of education uh, trust, trust yeah. of some sort, sure. definitely doing something like that, and definitely taking my family on a stellar vacation. To wait. Like, did you know that up until two years old, I think it is, kids don't have to pay pay for plane tickets. Oh, this is a thing, guys. It's two true. years old. This is a thing. Yes. We actually need to drag these kids around everywhere because. <laughs> <laughs> right so mm -hmm. those are the things i'd look into i would absolutely look into investing into like business mm -hmm. but the part of having fun and the part where i will blow it yeah is vacations that most of which will definitely not be in this country i mean it's mm -hmm. so easy going on vacation here mm -hmm. uh simple airbnb mm -hmm. but it would definitely be countries outside of mm -hmm. south africa mm -hmm. um and yeah i think i think that top two countries would go to top two countries yeah um I sh yeah no you got me there hey i don't dream of countries to go to okay. um i don't have top countries on the list if i'm honest with you um there is a friend i feel like i'm stealing this one there's a friend of mine who really wants to go to where is uh dakar mm -hmm. isn't it singapore mm -hmm. Uh, you're asking the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, about. the way I'm so good. I, I know, that's car. why I looked, I that's why I looked into your direction. Yes, I did not <laughs> I think, expect Dakar. Yeah, yeah, but I definitely think I'm stealing this from a friend. I'd um, love to go to Dakar because it's it's that place in Africa that when you're there... Senegal, it, guys. Actually, let me Google yeah 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 you yeah, can definitely it google it like it's that one place where when you're there it doesn't you know what i hate about traveling mm -hmm. i i remember when i once landed in zim and i was asked by someone there like so how did it feel getting off the plane mm. and i'm like i didn't feel like i'm somewhere else is it yeah i didn't so if i travel i want to make sure that when i land yeah. it feels like i'm even the culture you're in a the foreign way, place yes senegal 
Senegal, there we go. Thank you, Senegal. Yeah, yeah. I was totally off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was totally off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would definitely love to go there because from pictures I've seen, it does not look like you're going to Africa. In fact, that's where the Renaissance Africa, is. Right? The African Renaissance. Yes, it's yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. now it's all coming back. No, 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 exactly no, no. Now it's all coming back to me. Now, yeah, now it's all Shady. coming back to me. <laughs> But okay, bubble queen. Wait, how much of that money we we went totally off topic with countries travel to? Mm-hmm. How much of that money mm-hmm. is bubble money? So how much of that money did you blow? I would say a mil. A mil. Yeah. Although, um, considering the fact that I mean, how much a trip to let's say six countries in mm. Africa would mm. cost me, mm. right? And also, I would want to go to the West. I definitely love to go to the West, mm-hmm. uh, not West Africa. Oh, okay. Yes, West. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I also was like, how can? Sorry, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you? Um, God, what was my question? I wanted to ask if you, would you retire mm-hmm. after getting that six M? Absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, um, so I find like great that. joy in working and producing oh. things. Uh, there's something about a finished project that makes me feel fulfilled. Okay. So I might not. That is do, so interesting. Yeah, I might not do what I'm doing for as as a nine to five. Mm-hmm. Definitely, I'd probably go and find something that when I do it, I feel fulfilled. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also yes. don't think six million yes. is money like that for me too. But let's say there was money like that for me to leave. Hey, I hope my employee doesn't watch, but I'm leaving. I'm not this one quickly. Give us a laptop or I could. Everything that belongs to you, keep L- it. Let's say like 600 mil, something big, guys. I w- mm, oh, mm. oh no. Kitabula CV. Yeah. Can I delete off my laptop? Yeah. Oh, no, CV. CV. <laughs> I got to live on I, I, I wouldn't work. You, I would do you know what, Ned, projects. Personally, um, I'm, I'm curious as to how many people watching and listening to this are thinking to themselves, I'd definitely leave my job. Mm. And the reason I'm thinking that is because I, I genuinely feel like it's our employer's fault. Yeah. Honestly. I look at, and I hate to always use America as an example, but I look at the effort that Google makes to make work fun. Mm. Mm. Like, Google is such a fun place to work at. I'm not, and I'm not I saying there's no you know, mm-hmm. issues that people who work there have. Mm-hmm. But like to go to a place with colorful desks, mm-hmm. to have sleeping pods, there there's a washing machine at work. Because guys, how many times at work do you just need a nap? Oh! And uh, you need a nap to concentrate you also know. afterwards. Yeah, it's, it's not that you like don't want to work. Yeah. Just like the two minutes. Oh, guys. Mm. It's like, yo, and then now you're stuck in this place. You can't drive back home for the nap because you live an hour away. And oh, my goodness. And, and more institutions really need to accept this. Mm. G- allow us to be more productive. Mm. Have these sleeping pods mm. there. Allow us to take naps. We'll never want to get to a four hours sleep. <laughs> you see. That's why when you go to Kenya, South Africa. <laughs> that's why. Okay. Bubbling Queen. What did you do? Six million. Me, can I be honest? Uh. And don't judge me. Mm. Because at this moment, I'm not thinking of kids. I'm not thinking of who did who and what. Ganjan. I'm from zero rands, remember? Mm. So me putting my money is from zero rands. Mm. First thing I'm doing, me, I'm sorry, my mother, I'm sorry, my dad, I'm sorry. I'm buying a new phone, I'm changing my SIM card. If you know me, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I have a lot of dreams. I'd one day love to have like my own, actually marketing agency have a structure and it's written the house of seven there okay, I'd okay love okay. To so have let's start it. with the fact that you do have a marketing agency yes. you're just saying you would invest more money into more it. in it yes. yeah that's the first thing i'd mm-hmm. do and then obviously buy myself a car place to stay and all of those things and most definitely i'll revamp myself and my wardrobe mm. and then uh, the rest you know, let's i'll go to a club and at least a young 200 200 what? Rent. K. K, show me. In, this is a, this a is club. A club, but not in one day, obviously. It's so different. Yeah, and I'm guessing this is like an adventure. Yeah, go like club hop as well and go to like, you know, these different places wearing Gucci as well. Then I've never had that, so I want the experience. <laughs> I'm wearing Gucci as well, Linda. I really would, like, I wouldn't do that, hey? Yeah, you! <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly, I will. exactly, you know, exactly. With no the, judgment at all. With the weave there, you know. Then I have my own bottle and uh. stuff, and my girls 
girls that we've never done it and we don't go to what we're in ace what the ace hello born the pink one <laughs> my favorite color even i don't care about I've never the taste seen ace. I, just know that it's I don't even care about the taste i'm going with that even with the girls that my friends that have been there with me through thick and thin get it let's ride along fit class level no but no you're joking 200k really you spent oh, 200k i can have i have six Guys, million that normal thing i have six things like money laundering stuff that people mm. do stuff like that yeah it's a, really it's a real spend. thing then I'll, 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 I'll do it real get this time this is my man there's no laundering there's no cleaning of money it's mine and then after that I'll, I'll go do you know if you do something and get over and done with it like it's a stage mm. that phase don't do you it. think that opens you up to wanting to do it again uh, absolutely the it high does. of no, doing it is more money high. you spend 200k i think it's a it's enough money for it to not become a habit mm. i think you it's think enough so? yes i think it's enough 200k if she's saying she's not going to spend it in a day in not in a that's day that's not a lot it's not a that's lot that's not a lot okay but okay. the higher the amount goes because that means you're doing it now to a point i mean if you look at some of the stories on i blew it right mm. they there comes a point at which or rather there are some people who do it not not because they just want to feel the experience as you're describing and i'm hoping there's not some deeper reasons that you're not sharing no no not it's just for experience purposes yeah because there are those who do it because i've i've and I and, and I I know a lot of guys who have this. I've always seen the guys who do this and I've always seen the ego that they carry. I've mm. always seen how respected they are mm. and how Good me man. and my friends used to speak of them mm. and I finally get to be one of them. Mm. Ooh. And that's a different motivation. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Me, I'm, unfortunately, that's how I'm going to spend it. Then the rest is going to be on things that are going to empower me and develop me and better me. Ish. And invest here and there. Twenty two hundred k is little. Six million. I'm I about two hundred k is a little. It's little. It's a little. And if not for now, maybe maybe I'm lying to myself, but I feel like I'd be so scared to spend two hundred k, guys. How would you spend <laughs> the six million, Ish? Definitely big debts, so bonds paid off. Mm. Big okay. debts. Um, a new car. And I know I'm not even extravagant. I'll probably get like a Toyota Cross. Mm. Or something like that. <laughs> Am I boring, guys? Maybe no. I should say. Oh, oh baby. But chat is that? <clears throat> would you be able to maintain that That's even exactly, after yeah. a lot, like yes, the, the duration of the six now, million? Now, now that the, is that what you're saying? Like now, I'm saying this because I don't have the six million. Or are you saying would I be able to maintain during the six million? What she means uh, is, would you get? Well, I think because she's being so conservative, uh, I think she's doing it in her mind also thinking of the maintenance part yeah. so there are oh, some people okay. who get cars that they actually can't maintain mm. yeah that's what i'm saying i try mm. to cross i mean even on the salary that i have now you see so what i mean i'm yeah. still thinking longevity you <laughs> yeah. know i'm still yeah. thinking because i would hate to get something like a porsche and then the next thing service i think six million is gone and i'm you not okay around yeah. the service for cars yeah yeah you get what i'm saying yeah i would hate to be in a position like that yeah um but yeah hopefully we'll be able to do something that will bring back returns mm. I think most mm. importantly I hope the six million would be something that boosts me out of month to month yeah I, I hate and not forgetting month. that it in itself can become to a salary yeah. that's another piece yes. something people don't know yes. you can invest it in a, in a, mm. uh, a long-term mm. account mm. where the the the, the, the what, are, what are they called return on investments mm. actually pay out yes, as yes. long as you make sure that you you pay out after you know, like inflation generally in South Africa on good years is like 5% mm. or less, mm. between 4 and 5%. So living on what's left after you remove the 5% is a okay. very wise idea so that the 6 million in 6 years is still worth 6, six million. million. Okay, yeah. random question. Uh, would, you, would you have a financial advisor that moment? Receiving? Without a doubt, before I yeah, touch definitely. the 6 million. Before definitely. I touch the money. Yeah, Before definitely. I touch the money, I'm yeah. willing to give somebody a percentage of my money to help me. But I also envy yes. people that know how to enjoy. Yeah. Not, not just yeah. money. Because you're going to leave it at the end of the day. Enjoy. You're going to leave exactly. it. And just like let go. Because sometimes we over calculated over, mm. you know, to the point where the, the moment of enjoyment came and passed and you didn't enjoy it. Ish. Actually. Ish, I get you. Yeah. I get you. Then yeah. you want to enjoy the lost cents. Anyway. And I, then you put the know. lost cents. When I know. <laughs> There's no way. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm apologizing to 
F and B if you're watching. Sorry. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> sure. Uh, all this money of uh, all this talk of money mm. during yeah. uh, December should have been a painful one for most people to listen to because people are struggling to get kids through uh, stationery Ish. buying and uniform yeah. and what what and mm. hopefully it's a lesson for next December try not to bubble all at once yeah um, and and I think yeah I think the take home is definitely let's try to get a little bit of fa- financial education from people that do know people that have mm. studied people that do know how to set up a budget uh, outsource the things you don't know how to do you know whether mm. you're a media person you're a gig to gig person maybe you're a caterer Caterers made a lot of money over December. You're yeah. one of those, and mm, now you're you're mm. like finally comfortable. But it might be a bit of a stretch before there's another few gigs. Caterers take a huge dip in winter yeah, exactly. when there's no events happening exactly. and things like. And learning how to you know survive with big lump sums of money, mm. I think is something that could help all of us. I mean, we even de pay out. What's a pay out? Mm. You know, those mm. are things mm. that you that just see how. Tense black communities are not equipped to deal with big lump sums of money yeah you know those yeah. payouts they are ravas are people it breaks families mm. people don't know what to do with themselves you see you know uh, it's 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 Maybe people might say this girl is judgmental. No, no, no. no but no. you must we also understand. We have to be able to say to these, say things. these yeah. things. You know, we have to be able to criticize mm. our own mm. to say that is not a good idea. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Masaka, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, you know, so much for you, having thank me. You, thank you. Thanks, Give. Thanks, Bobo, for your contributions. It is TCC. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends, your friends' friends about it. Also, comment. Tell us how. What would you do with six million? Uh, I think I'd love to hear people's answers. Is six million a lot of money or is it not? And what's the highest bill you've ever paid? I think I couldn't answer it because I can't think actually. There's no bill that I've ever had that really like blew my mind away. Mm. Not that I remember. You I know someone Asha? who's with their friends and she's like 26. Oh my. They've had a bill for 14K. Mm. Okay, she's 26. I thought she said 26,000, but still 14K is a no, lot no, of money. No, 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 no. She's 26. And they, their bill was 14k. I was like, yo, 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 yo salary. Do you know what people pay at Conga? At someone's salary. salary. <laughs> Hello, 14, is, 14 is just change. There by Conga. 14 oh, is, is just it? change. Have yeah. you ever been to Conga? I have. <laughs> Are you a popo? <laughs> you? I, of course. New Year's resolution, here it is. Yeah. I'm <laughs> going to Conga. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you guys my experience. I need to go to Conga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, thank you so much, guys. Uh, uh, goodbye and God bless. Mwah.